Hey guys, welcome back to my Bring Backs channel where you guys will get the latest and greatest iOS Android tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over a little bit with the GA, Google Analytics within your Part iOS two. applications. Hey guys, if you don't know this already, this is part two. So if you haven't seen part one, jump over there, check out part one, jump back into here, and you guys will get all caught up. So the very first thing that we have to do is we, you know, based on the tab view or based on how your application is set up, and I'm going to go into our storyboard here just to kind of show you guys where and when we're going to track this, just as a base tutorial here. But you'll see basically with the, the tab bar application, it launches with basically two views. So we have our first view, which is an instance of our first view controller. And then we have our second view, which is an instance of the second view controller. So basically when somebody goes and they click this tab bar, you know, between the first and second, every time they click and load that view controller, we're going to send a message to Google saying, hey, I loaded this and I hit this view controller so many times. All right. So we're going to first start by going into our first view controller.h, which is hooked up to this view over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to import and then we're going to import our GI tracked view controller.h. You're probably wondering, "Hey Jake, why? I don't how are you getting this?" And again, I'll go back to the Google Analytics SDK. And you'll get down to the third step here, which is basically implementing the screen measurements. Okay, and this is all we're doing. So we're going into our view controller and we're importing our GA, GAI tracked view controller. So instead of extending to our UI view controller, we're now going to extend to our GAI tracked view controller. And uh, it's basically a convenience class that uh, we don't have to do a lot of boilerplate coding. All right, so we're going to copy that GAI track view controller, which was in the package that we downloaded, the SDK, and we're simply going to replace the UI view controller with our GAI track view controller. So now we're going to go to the first view controller implementation, the .m file, and we're going to go back to Google Analytics so I can show you exactly where I got this from. But basically we're going to send the view name to Google Analytics. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take our self.track view name and we're going to copy this and like it says we're basically going to paste this within our view did load method. So we can take this, we can paste it within there and we can give it whatever string name that we want. So in this case we'll just put first. So that's going to be our view name. All right, now we're going to do the, the exact same thing because basically this view controller is all set up. So anytime they click this view controller, this name, this first view name is going to be sent to Google Analytics and it's going to keep track of how many times they hit that view controller and uh, so on and so forth within this, this code. All right, so now we're going to do the exact same thing with our second view controller. So we're going to go to the second view controller dot H. We're going to go ahead and import GA tracked view controller dot H and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna replace it with the GI tracked view controller GA AI tracked view controller as uh, it extends from the second view controller go back into the second view controller where we're gonna paste in our self tracked view name and within here we'll name it as second there alright so we're gonna go ahead and run this application I'm going to jump back over to Google Analytics because we're going to see like real time what we're using within the application. I'm going to go ahead and click home because you may actually still be where it shows the tracking ID. And uh, if you drill down into your application, you should be able to click your all mobile and select your property ID that's associated to it. And you could look at the app overview, but we shouldn't have any data yet. But if you go to real time, click overview locations or screen, you'll see a little bit of information based on your launch preview. So I'm going to flip over to our iOS simulator because right now we're running. So right now it sees that one active user is on our application, which is pretty awesome. I mean, that's that's hardcore tracking. And uh, you'll see some other some other metrics here: screen views per second, per minute, per minute. And uh, if we start flipping between the two views, basically every time I click the tab, we should be sending 
information to Google every two seconds about what I'm doing on my application. Now keep in mind, all I'm doing is a basic flip between a view controller, but you should see some stuff start to happen. Like per second, it says you know how many screen views. So I'm sending what looks like two screen views per second um, in certain cases. Now the sweet thing, now that you've registered some of some activity on your application, or maybe you've launched it out to the public and you're like seeing different uh, metrics as to where people are using it, why people, how people, you know, all the different what, when, why, how, what, uh, uh, you probably want to, holy cow, Jake, what else can this thing do? And uh, I'll show you, it's pretty wicked. Like the first thing you can see here is like you can see like where are your locations. It's like you can see I'm like in Lincoln, Nebraska, in the middle of nowhere, and I'm the only one on this application because I guess I'm the only cool one in Lincoln or in the world that's ever found this app. It also shows you it shows you like your app versions. So if you release newer applications, it shows like how many people are still using your old version and haven't updated through the Apple Store. So that's a good metric to have. It also shows like active screens and like what people are using. If you go in and drill in a little bit further to like your screens, you'll be able to see, you know, you'll flip over to like screen views in the last 30 minutes. We can see that the first view controller, first screen was hit like 15 times. And so it accounted for 53% of the screen views. So there's cool stuff like that. The other thing is once you've, once it's logged within Apple, you'll start seeing some other metrics. And these metrics aren't real time, so you won't see them until they actually log, and you, uh, maybe a day, depending on depending on when the metrics come up. But there's some cool things within like users. You can see app versions, demographics, devices, and networks. You can see what devices you're using. The other sweet thing is if you go to the engagement, you'll be able to see like the engagement flow, like how they flow through your application, where you know may you may need to optimize your application. The other sweet thing is the crashes and exceptions. Kind of tells you when and how your application failed. So pretty cool stuff there. Anyways, that's kind of the basics to the GA. And uh, you know, if you want to get a little bit further into it, you know, shoot me a message. I can do some more tutorials as to how to actually launch this. But if you go down within the SDK beginning setup you'll see there are next steps on to how to like measuring events like button clicks like which buttons they're hitting and which ones they are measuring campaigns in-app purchases timings you know all that stuff so venture there the other place you guys should probably head is to mybringback.com because all these tutorials and much more are on mybringback.com the latest ones will flow in the middle the courses and kind of subdivided categories are all within here so you'll be able to like navigate and find different uh, different topics that you guys are looking to, to develop within so if you haven't heard enough go here check it out and uh, we'll guys we'll catch you on the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to check out the latest stuff out there all right I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial <laughs>